When I think of all the inspirational stories that we've shared from this stage, I can, whether it's been in antiquity or in modern times, I think about this one particular story about the way a father removed the pain from his own son. It was 1962 and Dick and Judy Hoyt had the birth of their son, Rick, but it was followed by some serious complications. In fact, during the birth, the umbilical cord had wrapped around young Rick's neck and it was a difficult process uh, to save his life in the beginning. But then a double whammy ensued when they found out that young Rick had cerebral palsy on top of that. Back in the 1962 science, it was to put him in an institution for the rest of his life. You see, there was no computers, there was no way for uh, young Rick, he was paraplegic, he couldn't speak, but inside he was very intelligent. And at the age of about 10, some of Dick Hoyt's friends uh, got together and figured out a, a primitive computer in which they could communicate with young Rick, their son. And over the process of time, we have seen that modern advancement in technology where paraplegic uh, individuals can communicate. One, one perfect example is the great scientist Stephen Hawking and his ability from a wheelchair to communicate to the world. But young Rick didn't have that back in those days, but he could communicate and his wife, uh, this was uh, his mother, uh, had, had spent a ton of time uh, helping him through. In fact, young Rick not only graduated from high school, but he got a degree in college as well in special education. But at the age of 15, young Rick had a classmate who got in a serious car accident and was paralyzed from the waist down. He communicated through to his father, who was about 40 years old at the time, that he wanted to run in a 5K race, but obviously would need the participation of his father to carry him during the race. Uh, Dick was about 40 years of age and was suffering from heart condition of his own, but he was so inspired by the passion of his own son that this started something historically that forever has changed the world. In 1980, uh, Dick Hoyt and his son, Rick, started uh, a, uh, running marathons and races, a thousand over the course of their lifetime. In fact, 72 marathons, which is 26.2 miles, were run uh, during this time, including 32 consecutive Boston marathons, 257 triathlete, triathlons, that's, tw that's 2.4 miles of swimming, that's 112 miles on a bike, and that's 26.2 miles of running. Dick would have to carry his son. The interesting, powerful moment came in the course of their life when uh, young Rick was able to communicate to his father, Dad, when, quote, I run, of course, Dick is carrying him the whole way, I don't feel the pain of my handicap. Forty years ensued where uh, Dick and his son raced all over the world. In fact, their story became legendary uh, throughout the triathlete and marathon world. They became the most famous marathon team that has ever run. This love and devotional story has been told millions of times over. In fact, it was shared a few years ago in the largest church in the United States. And on that weekend that they shared this story of their own pain and triumphing through it, more people came to Jesus in, in their 32 year history than on any other weekend. Dick would have to carry his son all the way to the boat. And when they would swim, he'd have to pull him in a, in a raft. He'd have to put him on a sled. And as they run, he would have to push him down the road as Dick carried them. They would have to adapt a special bicycle seat to the front. And for 112 miles, Dick would have to carry his helpless son across the finish line. One of the greatest 
stories of a way that a father meets the pain of his son, just as though the same way that God meets our own pain, comes us on our own need. If you're on our web blast through our church, we're gonna send you a five minute clip of this, but because of copyright laws, we can't do that, of the inspirational story with some music of Dick Hoyt's experience with his own son. In fact, Dick Hoyt ran a marathon by himself once in 1986, but it was so unfulfilling that he, he said, I'll never do it again because I can't run with my son. I think about this story in my own life because when you look at Dick Hoyt and you watch him during this video carry his own son, he looks exactly like my own father. My own father was a long distance runner. And for the last 10 years of his life, my father spent his ministry with those that were paraplegic for the most part and could not take care of themselves. That inspired me. It inspired me in my love for my own father. We've got, a, we've got a bronze statue out there just outside the Boston Marathon and it's dedicated to Dick and his son, his young son, Rick. Uh, Dick unfortunately passed away this last Wednesday at the age of 80, but yet he inspired generations to, to, to display the grace and the love of Christ to many. Dick gave all that he had to his son to assuage his pain, just as our Heavenly Father does the same for us. I am so touched and inspired by this story. It'll never leave my soul to the day I go to be with the Lord Jesus. We so thank you for every week sacrificing and giving of yourself. Some of you may not have a lot, some may uh, have, have a lot. It's not the amount, but it's the dedication and passion, just like Dick had for his son. We thank you for all those that continually and faithfully give to this household of faith. And for those that use our push pay application, which is our most easiest, if you're not on that system yet, you just simply, it's, it's really easy to do. Just go to your text uh, messenger, text in 77977, and then in the memo put Ian City Church, and it'll lead you through a series of prompts which will get you set up on our push pay application. If you want to send it to our website, just go to eancitychurch.com and you can freely give as well. We thank you for every single person that continually sends in checks to keep the work of this church and everything that we're doing in this city and in this valley going. And now get ready for the end of this message. Just like Dick Hoyt and his son, God is coming to our rescue in assuaging our pain and getting us on the course of health that we might run that marathon race all the way to the victory and the finish of our faith. Amen. Amen.